None of that business of prodding it out of a pudding basin. And look at the colour of it. And look at the richness. Ooh. Now, may I repeat, in case I haven't made my point strongly enough, everything that I've spoken of, every single thing, is written down for you in the booklet. The times of the steaming, every single ingredient, how you make it in an ordinary pudding, pudding basin, and how you do it this way. I want to introduce you to my brandy butter. This is an ordinary little glass coupe that I've got to use for grapefruit or something like that. This is brandy butter coloured pale green. The recipe's in the booklet. It all out, I can't bear it when I get a cue to hurry up on television and I have to leave mixture in the bowl. And sometimes you write me cross letters about it. It's only because somebody's waggling their hands, which you can't see, saying, get over there and do the rest of it. You can keep it waiting for up to three weeks in mild domestic refrigeration. That was a bit of a wiggle, wasn't it? I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. You must have a nice big squirrel in the centre, and you must have rosettes all the way around the edge. Don't Poor darling, she's so sh nervous on television, her hands are shaking. I only shake for the first half minute. There we are. That's right, and then one little lot there. So, and we've done it and completed Mum's trifle, which I hope very much will vanish first on your buffet, the same as it's done on Mum's, on mine, and now on Sarah's as well, and many other girls that have worked with her. Now there, instead, is the Christmas goose. The kind of thing you know that the maiden aunt that you always have because she's lonely on Christmas Day or some other elderly lonely person, says, oh, I can't eat goose because, you see, it does repeat so. Well, this way, it never repeats on anybody because you get rid of all the extra fatty substances, and I'll tell you exactly how it happens. You prod it all over. You think of somebody you've never really liked. I'll let that go for the moment and then pick it up again in a minute. Prod it all over. Think of somebody you've never really liked, but you're too well-bred to say what you think of them, so you take it out on the goose and get it stabbed all over. Then you put the rack back, snip through there, and snip through there. Now, isn't that much easier? And that is my whole aim and object in these programs, to share with you the ways that I have found that life is easier for the housewife. Because, you know, it's my considered opinion that Christmas is just about slave labor for the women. Now, and roll that one up, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then you put those into a buttered dish like that. You sift icing sugar over them thickly. Then you put a piece of foil on top, and like that, when you're ready for them, you warm them in the oven. Gas mark five for 15 minutes, as Sarah, my dear Sarah, will do for me now. Thank you, my love. Now, that's the start. That's mincemeat pancakes instead of the inevitable mince pies. Because there's nothing more disappointing than coming to the edge and finding there's nothing there. Huh? Is there now? There we go. Now, the part that the housewife is so scared of, because of the rubbish that's been written in some of these women's magazines, about rolling it up and letting it get cold rolled up and then unrolling it and standing inside the roof of your mouth, when all you really do is just to make a crease in the grease proof that it's lying on like that, and then just tow it away from you. And there is your Swiss roll. Everything in life is so easy when you know the way. It's just a question of the pleasure that I get, selfishly, out of sharing the ways of the things I've happened to discover with you. until you've got a firm set on the base, but the top is still wet. Now then, over with that chap, up with the flame again, seal those two edges together partially. With that flame. Thank you, my darling. Now, turn it all off. Take the pan like this and tip pan and omelette at sharp angles to each other and so turn it out onto the dish. But I always feel it looks a bit naked like that. So I like to dust it with sifted icing sugar and there it is. And may I say how much I admire the housewives of Britain 
in these appalling prison conditions for their courage in trying to give their families another super Christmas. So like Tiny Tim, God bless you all, I say. Good night. But that's not bad, is it? That's it. And a filthy hand. Would you take that for me, darling? Thank you very much. Now you bang that down. No, no, no. Bang that. Sorry for that, Norris. Bang that down with your knuckles. You don't mind, do you, if while I'm talking to you, Sarah puts the next lot of things in for me and I use the bucket. Because it's quite impossible to go on cooking with that hand. Now, the gas mark four, I've written all this down too, lasts for exactly one hour. I'm going to cut you a slice of my white Christmas cake and then you really have seen it from the cradle to the grave. Well, not exactly to the grave, cradle to the tum, shall we say. There it is. And what's this bit about fruit sinking in the middle and going down to the bottom and, you know, it's money for old rope, isn't it? I do hope you enjoy making it and even more, I hope you enjoy eating it. Bye.